Always, always sub. I. Uh, hello, anyone who be watching now, later on on YouTube. Healing here, along with. Makir. And yeah, now that enough people have been driven absolutely mad by the freaking team soon, let's get started with the something Sunday, starting with Doctor's Remastered. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this this is a modern remaster of the uh, of the classic Ducktales game, and yeah, <laughs> well, Rakir here is a bit of a Ducktales fan, so let's put him out of his misery and <laughs> uh, get done with that song. Me money bin alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall uh, <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. Hurry, Death Duckworth, Christ. hurry! The pedal <laughs> is to the metal, Mr. McDuck. <laughs> oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. What the heck? I got some odd Disgaea vibe from the animation style there. With the combination uh, of TV and uh, sprites. Let's see, I'm using a controller again and... Okay, it just, it just keeps throwing gems at me here. Uh, let's see, I... I hope... I can Scrooge! I can Scrooge up here! Oh, Huey! Are you all right, my boy? Yeah, but you better watch out! The Beagle Boys mess with your security system! Oh, oh yeah. We take over the whole place! <laughs> yeah, me money! Hey, don't forget about me! Eh? Oh, 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 don't worry, lad, I'll save you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, yeah. Think I, I think I like the new duct tape perspective for the kind of more. Now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the what? head, you moronic marauder. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here too. You better hurry up, Scrooge. We might be in trouble. I'm I'm pretty sure that's the same voice actor for well the triplets in the old cartoon, but I'm not sure about Scrooge himself. Yeah, I think it is, but I don't know the show well enough to really re fully recognize the voice actor. I, I think it's the same voice actor as the regular original uh, Scrooge in this uh, game, but I think he died actually sometime after the game was finished. Yeah. yeah it's... I don't remember if it was you or someone else that told me, or I heard it from a little biscuit or someone. Um, can't fully say that. Might have been me, yeah. Yeah, but I think I heard it from an else as well. From... I could, might have heard it from Tutor Biscuit as well, well, before he as well died. But you so. Well, uh, yeah, as, as Boren can see, it's a simple platformer. Uh, we collect gems for points, and we take out enemies by just bouncing on them. Yeah. I, I really hope they make a DuckTales remake with the new characters and all. Yeah, th that would be fun. Yeah, for I think that all the characters at this spot I've seen so far with Helian have evolved so much that it would make a good game. Let me go, you big old bum! Not even for a little snack. Big time, it troubled me. 
Get away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. Actually, yeah, the, the, the voice acting... The Menon voice part acting is still point point here, but many of the new voice acting uh, was better, and many characters are a bit better distinct art style and personality more. Yeah. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge! I did. How you hunt, lad? Now, I'm fine, but I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand beagle boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. That does make me realize, though, that you know, Big Time and Burger, those are the same names for the two of the beagle boys. Yeah. In uh, the remake or the new DuckTales series. Yeah, I don't think they made the remake them too much in the names there, except the designs, which I approve of heavily. Yeah, basically the new DuckTales is a is a complete is a big evolution of the old style or of the old show. Yeah, like if you're gonna improve a show and remake it, you need to make it properly evolved and improved. Like, as you said, yeah, evolved is probably the best term. Not always for the best here and there, but in general, it is a much better and um, better designed show. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> the Beagle Boys don't look all alike now, do you? Yeah, and easy thing. It, many times when Disney try to remake something, it usually goes horribly badly. Same with many other people, but we thought it. That one they actually made something that almost was impossible. Making something that was already good actually better. It's not uh, easy thing to do. Nope. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think this is yeah, I think I recall it. <laughs> oh god, I almost forgot that. Let's see, how are we yeah. supposed to get that? I feel like if they were to remake, remake an entire remake or an entire new series of games of DuckTales, I think it would be one of those where you could enjoy playing every character, or at least most of the main characters there. And just not only just Scrooge. Hold on, lad. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, big dog. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, kill one false move and I'm a roast duck. Please be a Scrooge! It's not worth it! Nonsense, my boy! Okay. It seems like I'm just about to get out of Scrooge. Wait. We may realize, there has been other versions of those ducklings before, but they actually tried to make them a personality in the past. Which I think did actually work well. I guess they took inspiration from the other uh, adaptation attempts of them. Actually, again, hot uh, stock gold. They'll never beat us, Scrooge. Hey, yeah, shut up. Ow. <laughs> and off he goes. What to me feel like that was more you hitting with the hammer? <laughs> that lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. Boing. Uh, yeah, I personally have never really seen too much of a, of the old DuckTales show, but I have seen. Oh. Step away from me, fortune, you crook! Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Uh -oh. Oh. Hello, Duckworths. Yep. Oh, dear. Do be careful or you'll scuff the floor. Yep. <laughs> Priorities, Dark Word. Your safe is securely Yeah, basic bo early boss fight, though. There you are, sir. Using the uh, mechanics that we've <laughs> used so far. Oh, and is ready, sir. <laughs> yeah, I should have bounced. <laughs> You're safe. Yeah. What I'm seeing from this game so far. Ah. Oh, 
I think that if they use the same people, then maybe this game, well, maybe it's too early to say. But if they use the same team to make a complete new game based on the old show with this team, I think they have a chance to do something good. Uh, these, this is from the same people who made Shantae and such. And that has been a, a passion project for like over a decade. Okay, that may explain all the things I, I feel like I recognize something about this. Uh, the animation is very good. Curse you, mud duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Yeah, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Frick a doon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? What? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Yeah. One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one buried ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck Guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up. Till we reach the moon. You mean the moon, moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, <laughs> what are we waiting for? What? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Okay, so they do have slight personality differences. Uh, yeah, but in the old one, they were basically just <laughs> one person split into three. Yeah, and, uh, they only... Yeah. Yeah. I'm also. I think. I think with this remaster, they also changed things a bit. In that the first level, or I'm not even sure if this was even a level in the original, and even if it was, it wasn't something that connected uh, all of these together. The moon is sure, yes. Josephania, most definitely. African yeah, mines and Himalaya, on shore. Amazon, maybe. And uh, yeah, everyone can take a good. Everyone who knows this game, or at least the music, knows where we'll be going. Yeah, I think many people's favorite uh, level was the moon. So yeah, because of a very like... specific piece of music. Yeah, I think it was even all right. Just fun it's to do, long even. Way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, I saw Gyro and Fenton in there. I, I keep forgetting his freaking name. Or his, the first letter of his name. You wanna have Gyro? Oh gosh, Mr. McDuck! Hmm. I've never been to the moon before! Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> Why, that's Oxy-Chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen-flavored taffy. Five good chews and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That, Gyro, is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah, how do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And did you take a feather brain like you to believe her? Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who could give us directions. 
Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I don't remember. I don't remember from here now here. Phantom's voice actor here. I'm not a fan of. I'm very new to, to Gyro's voice actor here. So I feel like they also have the evolution in the new DuckTales. Yeah, they changed Fenton quite a bit. No, I was expecting yeah. that to go straight up. Fenton actually looks quite uh... Yeah, he kind of looks better now than he did before. Before he looked it a bit... Gyro looks alright-ish, but I like his new design. I just... Hmm. I've got told you this before, but not on stream, that I'm a bit split on Garo's new personality. Yeah. Why, I feel like they combine like that the with the old one and probably Garo. But, uh, well. we still have uh, <laughs> two more seasons to watch. On board. Yep. Uh, okay, see you later. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, I guess an hour is later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They have, they can securely go down there, unlike you. Uh, yeah, in the new DuckTales, Fenton, well, isn't an idiot. <laughs> he's actually smart. You know, he's in his own way. He can be a bit clumsy and have stupid moments, but he's supposed to be at least have high IQ, and yeah. I have high IQ, and even I have my moment of stupidity. Yeah, everyone has. High intelligence does not have to mean high wisdom. I, I'd say it to anyone who, do, who does. Uh, <clears throat> anyone who, do, who uh, knows a bit about Dungeons and Dragons uh, statistics and such. Or yeah. Gaming in general. <laughs> yeah, and the, the, then the other problem is the IQ can be used in different ways. So, sure, IQ can be good, but. It doesn't tell you everything. Is there something hidden here? Okay. Well, uh, yeah, th this song has been uh, redone and remastered uh, who knows how many times. And that, actually... Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot we can do that. Oh, dear. <laughs> and <laughs> we still get our butts zapped. But there's a limit to how much time you can bounce on them. Could be, yeah. Uh... No point in hanging around here. Wait, what? <laughs> no point in hanging around here. <laughs> okay, I like that they actually have little voice lines for specific things like that. Yeah. I should probably... You know what? I've got an idea. Hmm? Mm -hmm. What are we up to? I'm gonna check if they are planning a new case thing. I haven't heard of anything like that, but I don't exactly keep my ear to the ground at all times for everything. Well, I must be surprised that actually, for several years ago, they had made the remake of this. Okay, here is where we need the gizmo suit, I'm guessing. Gee. Yeah, it's easy enough when you can just bounce continuously like this. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll just have to go down more to the left, I'm guessing. Or we can, or we can go up with the very obvious rope that I missed. And, uh, what do you realize? In the animation, he has Blast blue coat, but in games, he has the red. Of Gizmo Duck suit. Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. Hey, you're right. Oh. Or maybe wait, I wasn't it that he had a, a blue coat in the old show? In the old show, he had blue coat, but I think in the games and comics, 
you have red. Okay. So maybe that's why he's red coated in the new in new animation. A bit more somewhat closer to the comic book original. Um, yes, the comic books was not the first one that came out. Or contrast more. Fenton, get down from there and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones! Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengage. Fenton, you're a genius! Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning. Damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no, you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button, too. I'll get us out of this. Oh, this is... Okay, I did not. I played through this game entirely, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember this. Yeah, and I just looked in the corner and see a front name. Mr. Rocktail is being from 1989. Yeah, that's a one. LL. And up to 2,000. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a gizmo duck suit myself. Yeah, this version of Fenton is much more of the uh, idiot savant type. Yeah. Huh. It to maybe be, has been a new one released uh, last year, maybe here. If I'm, if I'm going to believe the thought in this uh, video of the blonde leaf. Okay. Though is, and we have to go to check up that later. So I'm not gonna play it up now on the screen. Okay, there's to uh, totally something hidden somewhere here, or not. Okay, okay, there's another video for five months. You're saying, What? It's... Hmm. I really hope DuckTales is not console. Okay, one little thing is that the game is a bit loud on my end. Not sure on the recording. Yeah, I looked, I looked at my volume uh, earlier. Again, and we raised it up late yesterday when we watched the uh, um, series together. Yeah, we've been watching uh, the. Well, actually, yesterday we finished up. You no, know, uh, day before yesterday, we finished up watching season one together. And yeah, we watched. Uh, we saw the first episode of the second season. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. <laughs> no. Only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon bolt. Okay, I do like that they add in little explanations for things, because obviously a lot of this stuff wasn't in the original. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they think they're really trying to improve it for... Yeah, the original game, did, yeah, I don't know how much story there was there. I'm pretty sure there was pretty much none at all. But if there was, the probably was in the manual, which, let's be honest, games when you can your games the, in the manuals there had a habit to either break easily or disappear. Yeah. Unless it's a Zelda book that somehow always easy to find, probably due to they are so damn golden. There are also a lot of games these days that, or I believe a lot of old gaming manuals were saved by people uploading PDFs of them. Oh, 
And yeah, I still have a lot of manuals for my old games in yeah, varying can... stages of <laughs> disrepair. Yeah, I, I kind of miss manuals in a way. I can understand why they don't do it anymore for... Well, it's probably hard to send a manual when you buy many things on Steam. Yeah, and, uh, and yeah, digital distribution is just plain cheaper these days. Yeah, and even in many console games nowadays, you usually don't need a manual for. They have the ability to add the manual in the game now. Yeah. In the, in the past, if you wanted a manual in the game, it would take more space. But yeah, now now you can make uh, games um, in a good uh, size that yeah the manual will fit there without a problem at all. You're a persistent little bugger, aren't you? And he, yeah. he's a persistent little bugger that got himself self-destructed in the corner. Funny, yes. Oh, what the yes. heck are you doing uh, here? Why are you here, Mrs. Beagley? Because zero gravity is the last place for bad dining habits, Mr. McDuck. There'll be no skipping meals on my watch. Oh, gosh, I don't Marvelous. like... Yeah, as usual, Mrs. Beagley. Goodbye, Mr. McDuck, and be safe. Yeah, I like the new uh, Beakley more. Yippee. Okay, so this is basically the heal room, and yeah, I level up, or not a level up, but <laughs> a one up. I can say this at least her English version here is, is more bearable to listen to than her Swedish version. Yeah. There are times I find Swedish voice actors better than English and vice versa. And let's go to Beakley, which I'm just gonna have to call Matilda this is way to remember, but that's what we call her in Sweden. She was her Swedish voice actor was very annoying to listen to too, for she was almost She's screaming. Wheel. I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now, just one more path to find, and I can get off this flying monstrosity. That's a good question. But, but uh, yeah. oh, 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 get, like get up, get up. Actor, and I like her new evolution for she's no longer annoying to listen to or to see. Okay, and the first part is all the way back down. It's up. kind of funny. Then I started to learn. Norse uh, translation of names. So I speak a lot of Matilda, what Matilda means, like uh, war battle. Okay. It didn't take me long to re realize that the old uh, Beakling did not deserve that name at all, for she was far from it. The new one, however, does deserve to become Matilda. For she looks like she can cross your head with her hand. Yeah, probably could. And the last part is over here. That's Gizmo Duck's helmet! Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Huh, I hope it's not too late. But uh, yeah, as usual for these Try Out Something Sundays, we'll give this game uh, an hour. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> we'll give this game an hour and then we'll move on to the next one. Though I'm pretty sure that at least Rakir will want me to full do a full let's uh, stream of this. For sake of nostalgia, I will not oppose it. And this may be like a one hour of it every Sunday or something, or this game is not that long, is it? And no. And I should be careful now before I game over in the very first level that I'm doing. Yeah. But yeah. Where I could see us doing I this. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault! Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh... I think I left my favorite two-dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Oh, 
see, boss? Why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you Dunderheed. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! <laughs> hey! Would yeah. you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. <laughs> I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Yeah, I like the new version of him as well more. Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. <laughs> Wait, what? Back under the seat it goes. Uh Jaiwa. <laughs> uh, oh fuck you have Xis? I feel like that they may exist a one million dollar bill, but only one. But nice. I'm sure. What? I think I think I've heard of something similar as well, and <laughs> Gizmo is just absolutely annihilating all these Robo Ducks. I think it's even we do have it, something like a 10 k Swedish AO bills, but they are also very rare. You're more you're so likely to get a 5k bill. I still have to be careful because I. <laughs> it, it takes a bit of time to get those things to where they need to be. I kinda like that he needs to meet you and help you here. Yeah, every uh, companion that isn't an escort quest can be absolute fun if done right. And that guy just decided to nope out. <laughs> yeah, so more reason for I want to see a new game of this for... And then characters new evolve their personality and all that. I feel like they could be compared to later table characters themselves. This is the place. Gyro's yeah. calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. Yeah, that's annoying voice. Underwear. Was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmo Duck. No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ah, Flintheart Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, it you looks odd. How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> But thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! You look like... Doer. No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boy. Bah! Longo looks extremely alike, uh, Scrooge there, except for the beard and different clothes, but the face in yellow was... Off. Was it supposed to look that? Would it supposed to look like almost twins there? Uh, well, maybe not twins, but I, I think the most I'd seen of the old or classic Glum Golds, and not the uh, bumbling idiot in the in the remake or in the new show, was uh, in the intro of Ducktail of the original Ducktales. Yeah, I don't remember much of him. In the original show, I don't think he, he was shown too much. And I, I think the new show gave him somewhat more personality. Yeah, that one of the reasons they made him a, a bumbling fool is that well, Scrooge has enough smart enemies to contend with already, so he he would just uh, fade in with the others if he was still the same as the old version here. 
Yeah, but then still you wonder how is he as well a millionaire, or he might be not be that idiotic, or he might be not also be a millionaire. Oh, hello. Boing, 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 boing. Uh, it's always nice to get invincibility in a game, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You really see that in games nowadays. But then again, not many games you can have need for either. Yeah, you don't have many of these arcade like games anymore. And they're still the here and there, of course, but not as well known anymore. Yeah, there are people that try to reinvent some. Some do it well, and some are less well. Okay, we really needed that ice cream there for a bit of health. Uh, yeah, I have to say that. Oh, God, here it is. Nothing be me. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott. I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. Yeah, and boss time. Oh, ep <laughs> he's coming straight at us. Uh, okay, I get the feeling we're, <laughs> we're probably going to game over here and we're dead. Okay, better be mobile. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, and let's... Uh, yeah, that throws us right back to the select stream here. <laughs> and that was only a half an hour or so. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah. If I remember correctly, this will fill up more and more as we get to... Well, get money <laughs> in the levels. It's probably an achievement of filling that practically to the top. And what is over here then? Oh, hello. Uh, in here you can spend money to unlock uh, concept art and such. Characters and concept art. Wait. Can you play this down here? I very much doubt that. But let's give that a look anyway. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, okay. This is the thing. I did mention yesterday that I like the new version of her better. Yeah. I still uh, like the old Magicka, but... Yeah, as we've been saying, many of the characters in the... in the new DuckTales were evolved to be... You know, generally better. Of, of course, people will still cling... People can still love the old characters and their designs because, well, they were good enough to keep the show running for, like, a decade or so, I, I yeah, think. And, and, yeah, they are they are iconic on their own, even, because any, any Disney fan, you show any of these characters, or, well, most of these, and uh, they were able to say, like, yeah, Magicka, Gyro, Beakley, the, the Boys, Webby, Gizmo Duck. I don't remember much of their men of the Swedish names or the English names. I don't think we even called the Magica Magica here. We we called it Greta or something. Not sure. I think many of our names were well, less harmful. <laughs> okay, so we need to spend money to unlock these other areas. Okay. Uh, that means I'll have to get good or move to a lower difficulty. <laughs> and change the difficulty. Yeah, we can't change the difficulty in here anymore, it seems. Hmm. What difficulty did you pick? Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's give another level a try. Win or lose. Pack your bags, boys. We're off to Transylvania, and we're no coming back without the coin of the lost realm. And there's Launchpad. Okay, Rattlebones. 
this is it, kids. Draculesti Manor, home of the legendary Drake Von Vladstone, heir to the coin of the Lost Realm. Boy, it's kind of creepy out here, isn't it? Uh, uh, Uncle Scrooge, we're not going to break into this guy's house, are we? Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Hey, look at this. The Junior Woodchuck Guidebook says Drake Von Vladstone was best known by his nickname, Count Dracula Duck. <sighs> Is there really a monster in there, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. Right! Ah, uh, he is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, of course he is, Louis. Vampires, banshees, and mischievous spirits are just a lot of superstitious hocus-pocus. He's all together from here. But you better stick close to me, just in case. Uh, yeah, Scrooge is quite... <laughs> How many spirits, ghosts and ghouls has he fought across the decades? Yeah! Oh, boy, stay put and keep an eye on Wee Webigail. I'll be back with the treasure in no time. Aw, oh, nuts! We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge! You know worry. I'll be back with the coin before you can say E Pluribus Unum. E Purple Bus Whoom? Yeah, I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. Besides, why should we have to stay here just because Webby's a big chicken? Yeah, we're not afraid of uh, whatever's hiding out there, uh, are we? You boys are so mean. I'll show you who's not afraid of the dark. Wait, 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 wait Webby! Webby! Oh, no! Huey, Dewey, Louie! Of course. Everything will be fine, my darling. Wait here and I'll be back with the lads lickety split. Yay! And another good track. I, I, I'm pretty sure every track in this game can be considered, uh, if not absolute gold, at the very least silver. Yeah. Um, good. Uh, again, I think I like uh, this uh, evolved uh, evolution in New Dark Tales as well more for... She also had her annoying moments, like... She was in the overgrowth of almost the every single little pink girl ever. Now she's, well, more personality at least. Yeah, oh, God. Even if it, even if she's concernedly a bit... Uh, <laughs> crazy. Yep. <laughs> But uh, yeah, earlier really, I was going to say a bit about... Yeah, I have to agree that at first I did not like gyros uh, or the new gyro any, like, at all. And I can't interact with that. But uh, yeah, over time I grew... I did grow to like him for, as he is in that and... Yeah, just plain rush. Yeah, and I think you mentioned that uh, he gets better in the seasons. Yeah. yeah I, hope the, I hope the same with the drop pod or drop pad or what it was named again. Launch pad. Launch pad. Thank you. Yeah, that that is one thing that a lot of people have also sort of complained about is that he they made him too much of an idiot. Yeah. And on that I have to agree, but. Oop. I forgot how launch pad the, was in original, but. He wasn't the sure he was had some idiotic moment, but not in that level. I I think he was it, still a dumbass, yeah, but Yeah, they did a they did it a bit too much at times in the in the new one. Yeah. Most of the time he is he is uh, just lovable dumb and not annoying dumb. Yeah. It, I hope they get him a bit fixed during the season. Yeah. Again, I would be concerned if they... So, oh yeah, people love it that at least the entire show is an extreme improvement of the original, which is just hard to do. But it is expected to make some uh, mistakes here and there. Yeah. Like, 
Oh god, what was the, what was the shopping one again called? The one with losses. Uh, Doofus? Doofus, yeah. I did not recognize Doofus at all, also I forgot the name. And when I saw him, and you made me remember, I was just cringing what they had done with Doofus. Yeah. That I... was... Yeah, Perfection one. is... Uh... It... Perfection is an impossibility, so... Even with the best of things, there will be mistakes eventually here and there. Yeah. Hello. He was sort of annoying in the original. Oh, come on. But yeah, I remember he was annoying in the original, and they just made him outright creepy in the new one, that just uncomfortably creepy. Yeah. Yo! I'm out of here. Hey, that wasn't a ghost at all. It was a beagle boy in disguise. Trying to beat me to my treasure, no doubt. But it'll take more than just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten off Scrooge McDuck. Look, Uncle Scrooge, that beagle boy dropped something. It's an old piece of paper. Twist me, Tartan. It's an ancient rune. You mean like a magic spell? Aye, lad. At least part of one. Gee, I wonder who tore it into pieces. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I want you to head to the front door and wait for me. I'll be back once I've found the treasure. Off you go, lad. Okay, yeah. sorry for people watching that I'm pulling in my face so much, but... Yeah, it's just... Something feels a bit off. And... Oh! Yeah, like I haven't gotten enough sleep. And yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about pushing back these uh, streams by half an hour, similar to what I've done with the... Yes, Rose, I know you're there. Similar to how I've done with the uh, main week... the uh, main week streams. Uh, to give myself a bit more time to... Uh, you know, just prepare and such. Because... As... Uh, people who may have been watching longer know, or... I, uh, I usually stream after dinner, or in this case, because it's much earlier, uh, shortly after breakfast. Scrooge, help! And yeah, a half hour extra would uh, help a lot in... Yeah, just giving a bit more time to prepare for the streams. Yeah. That would mean that when short thing is the moment I throw my food into the machine, but I don't mind that. That's burger. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna eat a burger. Oh, well. oh. You guys got any lunch? No. no! Okay, okay! You don't gotta be all touchy about it. See ya! Aw, oh, that guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. He was starting to look at me like I was lunch. Well, next time he'll think twice before scrapping with Scrooge McDuck. Speaking of scraps, he dropped this, Uncle Scrooge. Ah, it looks like another piece of that torn up sorcery. Ah, uh, say what? A magic spell. And it's nearly complete. Just one piece left to find. If only I knew where to start looking. Well, that bungle boy did say this house has an illusion wall. Uh, do you think he meant... Of course, a secret passage. Oh, no wonder I've been having so much trouble finding anything around here. Good lad. Now, off you go. I need you to wait at the entrance with the others. Oh, dear. That's a bit less of a surprise since we had to pass through an illusionary wall to even get in all of this area. Yep, and to people here, I am actually making a burger in my air fryer. <laughs> and I just realized something. The short one of the Vinico Brothers is still short, and the big one is still big, and sort of much close, but too cool, but I think they completely remade Burger. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to think now. Uh, I, I keep, I think, the, wasn't it the big one that they named Burger, or was he Bouncer? 
And uh, the lanky one is supposed one. to be Burger. Yeah, I think the complete remake of Burger. He's still medium height, but he's, well, completely different person. I'll have to look that up. And actually, I can look that up right now. Or, or maybe you can look that up because I, yeah, people probably don't want to be watching this for like five minutes straight. Oh, can look that up. Also, okay. I I think I just figured out the illusion with the the eyes in the paintings. The eyes are on a on a layer behind the painting. That way, when you move moving around like this, it looks like the eyes are moving. <laughs> but this one it's less clear to see, but I, th yeah, I think this one, it, when you walk our way, you can kind of see that it is layered differently. Yep, and I just confirmed. They have indeed. You gonna talk a make of the world burger? He is now skinny and wear cat and lanky. Okay, um, do we have to I don't think they seem to even have the same personality anymore. Not even remotely uh, similar. Well, the Beagle Boys were like almost carbon copies of each other as well, with only minor uh, personality trait differences like that. Yeah, the, the big one was down, the medium one was hungry, the small one was the supposedly small one. Yeah. I think they improved them a lot. The small one is still sort of the planner. The big one is still big and strong, but he's not too dumb. The medium one... Hmm. I don't know about him. Never. Burger hasn't been that talkative at all, I think. Yeah, he seems to be somewhat cunning. That he's not an idiot, he's not, he's not strong, he's not a planner, but he seems to be sort of short-eyed. Like, if he noticed something, he's noticed it, probably. Okay, move aside so I can hit your ball up against you. I'm gonna see if they say anything about uh, his remake. About his personality. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this way is blocked then. Yeah, now. Yeah, that's a reference for the old game. Okay, how the heck am I supposed to get that now? Oh, like that. Okay. So, I'm guessing we have to find. Huh. We'll have uh -huh. to find some sort of fake walls, or oh, or we can just go through here like that. Found the reason why they made him so different. Apparently, the new practice. So this, this is due to the creators wishing to depart from fat jokes of the original series. Okay. I think I remember that. I was thought they did a lot of fat jokes with him, so I guess they just wanted. Yeah, so we're just done with it. Yeah. yeah. Hold on a second. No, that's not fake. Hmm. And this puts us back here. Okay. Yeah, that means that we'll have to go the other way. And I almost got two for one there. Oh, wait, this one's active. Oh, I think I see where the fake wall is. Okay, I did not expect to end up here. Yep. And life gone. Wait, is that another game over? No, oh. almost though. <laughs> hey, there's not something here. Apparently there's a Beagle member that's only that's only seen been seen in Italian comics of the East. Grandpa okay. Beagle. Didn't know about a grandpa Beagle. Is there no end to this madness? 
And, oh, there, I see the now say Grandma Beagle, which I guess is the... This is, is what Curtin Graham is doing. Ma Beagle. And that's game over. <laughs> Off the lava. Uh, well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess that means that we'll be ending this first section of uh, today a bit early. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll, I'm very much be willing to just make this a side let uh, side stream, and that will mean that we'll be starting up the other game for today, Dungeon of the Endless. But uh, yeah, I th I think we're probably very close to uh, the end with Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, like one or two streams at the best, I th or at the longest, I think, if we really start to go looking for lots and lots of things. And okay, this this one doesn't like it when you click away. Let's see then. Pixel. Some... Okay, turn that off. Then I can share it to you. I haven't read. I've got the information about Burger now. He's now tall, skinny, and mute. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think this is a game yet you can really. Well, you could probably play it with a controller, but more it is meant for. <clears throat> for the keyboards. Uh, well, more the mouse. Uh, yeah, I. I've played this game before, but I never got too far into it, I think. Though it seems that my save has been deleted, apparently. But yeah, I think... The, the, the Endless... I, I think this game is part of a series uh, of the... Well, the Endless series. I don't know too much about it, though. Oh uh, yeah, th this game is like a, a rogue light or no rogue, l a rogue like. Let's see. Choose your difficulty too easy, easy. Oh, okay. I think, hold on, on info. Apparently, there's a beagle called Bank Job, which they readapted into their new bouncer. Okay. So Merge two characters into one. Let's see. I remember this character being good, <laughs> and. Yeah, that that is Samus Aaron in a different uh, name. <laughs> Have a new mask. I also know you don't want to mix her up with this guy because these characters will interact with each other in a bad or good way. Depends on the characters. Oh dear. Let's see. A note from sales brochure: the pod is guaranteed to survive any crash. We hope its occupants do as well. Uh, of course. And yeah, it's, as people see, I have played this a while, so I have a bunch of other characters unlocked. Let's see, we have health, speed, attack, and some other stats. And I don't know what these numbers at the bottom mean. Like, they entered and died X amount of times. I There might have been a bit of a skip at the front here. Hmm. I remember this character being good, even though it that probably means she has died like three times. And let's see. Casper her Rob, that that bit these are the the engineer, the pyro, the heavy, and the doctor from Team Fortress. And let's see, who do you have here? Professor N Josh Natello? Natello sounds familiar for some reason. And then we have Skroik, who is very high in attack. Rakia Plumoni, pay jet average on all fronts. Nurse Dina Ratchet, disciplinarian, general stats. Hmm. Uh, oh, we have a different selection of. Okay, yeah, I've, as I said, I've played this game before, but I'd like, that's like years ago. Let's see. Dedicated to your pharmaceutical well-being, heroes have many more health points, cost of healing reduced, no auto-heal at end of turn, 
Most in-game items are replaced with drugs that provide buffs with some side effects. Health regen bonuses from passive skills are replaced by defense and bonus. By defense bonuses. And okay, I thought I'd set that stupid alarm off on my on my fitness tracker. I might as well do that right now to prevent that the nuisance. Like yesterday, I specifically uh, changed the alerts on this thing to not be uh, going off during streams anymore, but apparently I missed one. There we go, now I'm back with food, and this call was being a bit odd. It's disconnected me for a moment from uh, the stream. It's working again now, though. Okay. They're off. Oh, well, let's see what else I have, then. I want Armory to pod. If the Discord have issues because there are so many using it right now due to well the pandemic. Yeah, it could be. Uh, let's see. Note from Brazil's measure: whether you are liberating, policing, enforcing, or just having fun, the armory part is what you need to impose your brand of freedom. <laughs> Four powerful heroes at start. Some weapons supplied at start. No additional heroes in dungeon. No modules except food at start. No offense or industry modules can be researched. And then we have more that. Let's see. Fulfill this achievement to research all modules level 1 in a winning game. Drill pods. Endless mode unwinnable game. Uh, yeah, nope. Sanitor sanitary pods. Uh, For that, we reached floor 24 with the drill. Never use pods in a winning game. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the normal one, just to see how that goes in the first two heroes. Okay, big boom. Boom, boom. Let's see. Tutorial, survive the crash. The only system in working condition in, the in your pod is the crystal. It's a source of energy. Defend it at all costs. Yeah. Staying put will not help. You will have to right click on the door to open it, which will move a character there as well. Alright. I think I've seen a little game? bit of this game somewhere. Yeah, I know the, the Endless series is decently popular, and it has like, I, I think, three or four games in it, maybe more. Let's I, I think I've only seen an early access of it once from Splattercat, maybe, or someone else. I don't think I watched too much more for at least back then. I wasn't too interested. But it was quite some years ago now. I think. Food to hire and heal your heroes. Dust to power rooms. Okay. Wait. So basically, build, research, heal, and power rooms. Did this game have multiplayer or so? Yeah. It did give the option at the start. Ah, interesting. See, opening a door is like a turn. You get resources depending on your production and number under the stock values. Dust may be found in a room or by killing mobs. You need 10 dust to power a room. Displays the number of room you can power. Click with the mouse wheel to power a room. Okay. Let's see, we have these nodes here. We can probably install things on that. Powered rooms show their con content even when there is no hero present, allow you to build modules and prevent creatures from spawning inside. Now I'm starting to remember this off. This is a, a sort of uh, tower defense game. Oh! Depower and get back. Okay, so no cost in turning off and on again. Build modules with industry, bottom left menu, here. Science, creator, industry generator, food replicator. Two characters major are in the first tab to install in big slots, like here. Minor in the following tab, might try to build one. And it's generally a good idea to have industry going first. In uh, it's This is so far is doing a bit similar to like uh, 4X games, like uh, explore, expand, Exploit, exterminate, not always in that same order. 
where you have like build stats, research stats, and foods. Only here it's used, well, the first two are used in a similar way. The third one is used for healing. Let's see, hero management. Max is eternally optimistic, mostly because he is too terrified of where he is to think about it seriously. He will always be looking for to profit from a situation, get extra loot, take one more object, spend less money, etc. Even if it puts him in a bad, risky position or earns angry comments from his heroes. Let's see, cost foods to level him up, to heal and reset ability cooldown. Okay, that gives another option for science as well. Let's see, da -da -da. stats, he'll level up. Equipment with items from the inventory shared by all the heroes but lost between floors. Heroes can get passive and active skills when leveling up. Spacebar to pause. You can even give orders when the game is stopped. Let's zoom out to see the tactical map. Okay, simplification. Find the other shortcuts in the menu. Your goal will reach the surface, find the exit of the current floor, and then remove the crystal, right click, and carry it to the exit point to power the elevator. There are still many things to explain, but don't worry, you'll learn them all by dying. <laughs> so basically, trial and error. Okay, let's what, unpause then. Excuse something about a dog? Let's see. Pack oh, of dogs. Self-attack power plus 6% when their mates are nearby. And this one is two f science plus two per door opened, I'm guessing that means. After a ah. lifetime of seeing fakes, you know real ones. And let's see, what is with you, uh, Samus? Famous across the galaxy as a bounty hunter, Sarah was hired to escort a particularly troublesome uh, prisoner to Origa. The prisoner in question, the ex-leader of intergalactic pirates, disappeared when the ship went down. Sarah remains tight-lipped about it, but is clearly focused on finding the escapee in question and ensuring that justice is served. Sarah is involved in the story Clash of Heroes with Gork. Known as, <laughs> as a dangerous and reliable mercenary, Sarah is in fact the sole survivor of a murderous pirate raid on her home planet, Kaitul. Kaitul. Her lifetime nemesis and perpetrator of the raid was the leader of the pirates, who she only knew by his nickname Butcher. Having discovered that her lifelong enemy is none other than Gorks, she is torn between wanting to exit the dungeon and wanting to spill his blood, but she is very happy that they have finally come face to face. The end. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, these characters will interact between floors. And yeah, if you have her and this Gork together, uh, you don't want to, because, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, as obvious, they just want the, they just want each other dead, and, yeah, you can guess that that does not end well. Yeah. Okay. We don't have active control on combat here. Let's see. Power this up. And we might as well build another of these. Now, what are these smaller ones? We have no smaller ones, so we have prisoner prod. Low damage to enemies in the room. Okay. Can't build minor fun. Oh, not enough. Not enough industry. Okay. Let's see, we can activate this though, but there's no reason to have her act yet. Send them both in just to kill things quicker. Hmm. Okay, it keeps a log of the things done over here. Okay, next door. You go in as well. Yeah, like can be expected in so these types of games, most, if not all, rooms will contain some sort of enemies. Uh, can we... No, we can't go for that barrel. Can I multi-select you? Or can I only control you one at a time? Not enough power. Hmm... Uh, 
Uh, it's all going to be... Oh, what do we have here? Just found an artifact. What is this? Research wanted... Research time three. Okay, so we can use these things to research new things. Like, let's see. Dust generator adds 30% defense to heroes in the same room. NPCs in the same room. Uh, be better damage uh, turret. Each kill heals up to 100 HP based on killed monster power distributed to heroes in room. Okay. Uh, let's get that. Because if I am remembering correctly that this will basically turn into a tower defense game. Then, uh, yeah, we'll need to make sure that <laughs> this place stays safe. Yeah. And uh, this kind of stuff makes me remember... More of why I appreciate this, uh, close combat weapons like swords and such uh, in sci-fi movies for... I just realized there's another reason it would make sense. Like, again, you don't want to sh accidentally shoot a hole in the hole. But also, a sword or any other melee weapon does not run out of ammo. Okay, verbal abuse, heroes in room, attack power plus 12, defense plus 25. But it takes three rooms to uh, recharge again. <laughs> okay, can I select the both of you at once? Yes, I can. Uh, let's see here. What was I able to say? Uh, oh yeah. And yeah, the only reason I figured that like, melee weapon makes sense in space is, well... When you're in space, it will be a bit harder to get ammo. For, there will be only a few spots where you will be able to resupply am ammunition and such. So, yeah, you will want to use your ammunition wisely. Yeah. Okay. We have a bit of a danger here in this room. When the... Yeah. If I remember correctly, we basically can keep look... We can... Opening up... We can... Yeah. Somewhere is the stairs down. Once we found that, we need to take the, well, the crystal out, and bring that over. But in the meantime, places that are not lit up like here will start spawning enemies. And yeah, of course, you don't. You have to keep those things off, of your back whilst that is happening. Oh, and there are spawns happens. Okay. Are those going anywhere? Or... Oh, they... Okay, they heal up. Weren't I spawning? Hmm. Or was that alerting that there will be spawns here on the next turn? This is the dead end. Okay, so... As long as they are winning, are going to win in a fight, there's no need to heal them during the fight. Okay, uh, I should build another thing here. Build one of those there. Okay, that was not a nice sound. And okay, we found the exit. So what then? Hmm. We'll want to keep this door shut, probably, just to make sure that nothing spawns over there. That if when we start moving, these things, the enemies come from the sides, not from the front. And another dead end. And this room is electrified, and things are spawning. Okay, only small things. But as obviously with this sorts of games, uh, bigger things are going to start spawning later on as well. 
Yeah, and you should never underestimate a pack of small things like... <clears throat> I think you know what happened to a certain guy in Lost World Jurassic Park when I pack of compies. Uh, yeah, many, many small bits of damage can do a lot. Oh, Helian, here's the thing. In the books, they say it's canon thing that officially been canon now thanks to Camp Cretaceous. But they confirmed that in a book. I think they never confirmed in the movies, especially in that movie, but was probably because they forgot to do it. And that is, compies have venom in the teeth. Same as you keep moving. So, if you remember the scene that he stopped to look weird, he had black bands under his eye and all that. He was hallucinating. Wait, the, uh, get, move. Oh, exit. Uh, I had to press the button. I missed that. And, okay. It, yeah, it looked like the last door just opened up on its own, so there is no... Yeah, there's no, no gain in not opening every single door on the map, then. Let's see. I never want to be in a planet again, because, yeah, it's very clear that they are very deep on the ground because of that impact. Yeah. Uh, of course, now you're Wait, where's the other guy? Please come. Oh, did we ac... No. Did we accidentally leave him behind? <laughs> <laughs> is that possible? Okay, I'm going to find a nice lonely space station when I get out. <laughs> okay, <No>. uh... <laughs> oops. Oh well. I guess we'll just have to get lucky and see if we find someone new. And the hell is it? Okay, we got science from that. Like that place up, lickety split. And put down some industry on that. Good god. Uh, oh, now I can't stop thinking about how it horrible will be to be attacked by tiny compies and each bite inflicts more and more of the venom into you. I forgot about some neurotoxin or something. Ugh. Okay, are you going to need a heal? No. And what the heck are those you keep? Are those tiny drones? They look like it. Let's see. It looks like these are getting more expensive with everyone that with each that we uh, build. Um, and some people, I've been having a lot of nostalgic uh, things going on this week. Can the Cretaceous release a new season? And of course, DuckTales and many other things. <laughs> okay, these. I'm a bit nerdy at the moment. These mm -hmm. electrified rooms are powered up by their own. So that is good. That gives us a bit more leeway with a stele. What is this? Heroes okay. in Floor. Heroes in room without monsters give an attack power bonus to offensive modules based on wit. Each turn, the Stella loses health points when it destroys its effects end. Okay, so it nullifies... It nullifies... Uh, heroes' defense. But it makes them faster. And heroes in room without monsters gives an attack bonus... To I'm not fully understanding this one. Does it mean heroes in this room? Or... Hmm. A time for it would make sense if you shoot a thing in another room. But... Yeah, it's a bit... Contradictionary. Why I take to get an attack bonus when there's no enemy in the room? Oh, this one's nice. Divide the defense of monsters in the room by two. So it halves their defense. Let's see, what does this do? Attack power for each stored science. Okay. And it attacks the most powerful monster. 
out of dark shards, seven health regen to heroes in the same room, and to seven NPCs, regen plus 50 in rooms without monsters. Okay. Uh, let's go for the tear gas. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what really the use of that Stella is, but then again, I'm... Oh, hello! Nainor level 2. The first thing a chef learns is proper use of a blade. Y yes, please. I don't, I don't recognize this character, so he must be one that I hadn't unlocked before. Let's see, what's your story? The youngest prodigy, prodigy from a proud family of galactically famous chefs, Nainor, ended up disgraced when he unwittingly purses black Andromedan truffles that turned out to be pellets of Velen rabbit dung. Fighting to rebuild his reputation, he is a ruthless and uncompromising opponent who can turn anyone and anything into lunch meat. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's a that is a big <laughs> screw up as a chef. Let's see. Last supper, twenty five attack power and a a two cooldown of two. Sounds that sounds good. After this, you'll never want to eat again. Okay. What? Got your back. Defense plus 10% when grouped with others they trust. Okay. And... Okay, they both have that. He has double uh, Sarah's health. Um, almost half her speed. About the same DPS. Okay. Uh, she's more of a swift, uh, fast hitter. He is more of a slow, hard hitter. So, so he's a bit more of a tank? Yeah, he's a bit of a melee tank. So let's send him in first. And then Sarah can come in after. And, though there's no need for her. And we found food. And open sewage. Or water. Okay. Here gas one unlocked. Okay. Oh, and that means monster spawning. No, that's a lot in there. Okay, you do that. Those drones sound almost alive. Yeah. Are there some sort of cyborg drone like they're being or oh, Android like they're half organic and half mechanical? Good chance of that. Yeah, we'll Maybe we'll find some sort of compendium on things. Yeah, it could be useful. And they, they, how I do have to say, they do look rather generic. Like, it's a drone sign I have seen many times before. Yeah, the insector thing is that something that pretty much every science fiction thing has ever done. Yeah, though, okay, that flying one is maybe not as common, but I've seen variants of it. But yeah, the ones walking on the floor. I think there's even some similar of those in Portal. Wait, I, I can turn... If I turn that off... Okay, so it needs to be connected. Uh, let's see, what do we build? Well, we have a lot of food. Though things are obviously going to get tougher the deeper we go. Let's upgrade the both of you. And that's extenders. Heal cost minus 10%. No new skill there. Hmm. Okay, let's build a food replicator. Because we're going to need to keep leveling these guys up. Oh okay, shift click allows for multiple and... Let's see. Nainor, you go check over here. Sarah will come rushing if there's, if there's danger. Yes, there is. And there's incoming.
No, oh, they're going for our stuff. Makes sense, of course. Yeah. And that generator is as good as gone. Yep. Yeah, makes me think of uh, the ogres from the Warhammer. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can we... Okay, for a moment I thought there's something was going wrong, but on the... with the stream, judging from my phone, but apparently not. Can we build again on that? Yes, we can. Uh, let's see. Let's put one of those there, as well as one of these. A bit peak that you accidentally left the other one behind. <laughs> yeah. Unless you, unless you actually died without you realizing it. Uh, I'm pretty sure there would have been a sound or something that would have notified that. Possible, but then again... Mm. You expect there will be some kind of notification to tell you about you're about to leave him behind or something. Yeah, or maybe there was and I overlooked it, but yeah, we're just trying this game out. Yeah. I didn't know myself notice it, that there was one on so I think I looked away for just a moment there. Okay. Out and back in, so that all the focus is on the other guy, or most of it is. He must be stuck to to wield that kind of cleaver. No, hmm. I, I expect it could be and useful for the cook to be very strong armed. Let's see. Okay, now she's level 3 as well. And that gave repair. Can repair mo damage modules. Okay, that's that's nice. Uh, uh -oh. Wait, those are heading straight for the crystal, I'm guessing. Sarah, you go deal with those. Actually, they were going to get dealt with that. And Okay. These things, those flying ones, actively seek out. <clears throat> actively seek out uh, the modules. So they are big little saboteurs. Sort of. <clears throat> I I can't say if the price of this went down from that one getting destroyed. Uh, let's make another food replicator because we are low on that. And Sarah, get over here. Oh, you were already here, basically. <laughs> oh, dear. And here come more. Yeah, the small. Yeah, the small ones ignore everything. And they are getting to the crystal. Speed up, get over there. And yeah, those are sticking around. I told you to move. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, those are going. Okay, there's even more over here. Uh, hmm. Can we get... Can we see health on this thing? Or did it just finish up... Heal up by itself as well? The exit... We, the path to the exit... Wait, there's another one destroyed there. But let's see. Okay, the price does drop. So it is fair with that. 
So yeah, let's build another one of those. And then we don't have enough to add to that. Hmm. They haven't gone after the mo minor modules. But yeah, we we don't have enough to fully fill in this room with guns as well. Or maybe we can. Uh, almost. Okay, I I think the three rooms like this should be able to deal with any small fries that come through here. We can unpower that and hmm. only a small room. Uh. Actually, no. We'll, we'll, both of our heroes will be over here fighting. So let's let's lessen the impact or the spawns that will be coming from here. Yes, I'm guessing the bigger the room, the bigger and or more enemies can spawn in there. Uh, would make sense in a way. <clears throat> And yeah, anything that spawns here, the heroes can just kill on the way back. And an artifact. Whoop. And here comes enemies. Kitchen gloves. Okay, I think we both know who would make the best use of those. I'm bringing Sarah yeah. here just to help. He should be able to deal with that. Oh, she was... Okay, she auto-repairs them. That's nice. Nice, indeed. I kind of actually quite needed. Okay. Let's see. Equipment, kitchen gloves, attack power 8. Don't laugh. These were made for working with fire blades and blunt objects. Let's see, if we give them to Nainor, it gives him plus 5 DPS. But if we give them to Sarah, because her ha her attack speed is higher, she will get plus 10. So, how do I give these to you? So, this, the flame takes kind of makes sense. I'm kind of surprised. Is it, I don't think I really hear many people use kitchen gloves, but. Considering what I heard usually happens, that many cut their fingers or burn their hands. In the cooking industry, it kind of will make sense for them to promote kitchen gloves of that kind. Let's see, suppressive firebot, no viral injector, that's damage over time. Also always nice, but I'm thinking what we could use. Oh, it's useless anyway because we don't have, we don't have the time. Uh, we don't have any more rooms to open. So we can't research that anyways. Okay, Nainor, you go over here. Sarah, you go grab the crystal. Let's see if that uh, runaway power works whilst you're carrying that. Can't use that skills, okay. Yeah, don't forget him now. Ah, hero's ready. Okay, that would that was the sign. <laughs> Let's see. don't worry, new guy. Think of a, uh, think of it as all just a big game, and you can reload it at the end. <laughs> and that's everything. Okay. It's very nice artwork. I'll have to say that. Oh yeah. Very, very nice pixel art. The, you can point out when the environment looks better than the characters sometimes. But the characters do look good. Just, yeah, when you compare them to the rest of the game, there is uh, quite a difference. Uh, let's see. Let's just let's split out a bit here. Okay. I, 
Yeah, when they're, when they're doing a taunt like that, that's going to be a show that there's enemies there. Oh dear. Okay, industry first. Probably should have put that up last turn. And then this room next. We have enough dust to power it. Hello. Sir Larry. I miss my steed. Four-legged friends have never betrayed me. Uh. And now we have three heroes. Is... What are you? Is he a knight or thinks he's a knight? Oh, she! she? Lady Jorilai Tulak. A rogue and adventurer, Jorilai was generally found mounted and with a weapon in her hand. She has traveled far and wide on the continent, enriching herself by finding and selling endless artifacts. However, she was trapped in the dungeon when running from beasts that ate her steed. Now all she can think of is getting back to the up to the light and avenging her lost companion. Okay, you are behind, so let's give you two levels. And let's see, passive scamper. The hero the monsters don't slow down the hero. Okay. And dust thirst. Attack power plus eight per killed monsters, temporary near uh, max twenty-five. Dust loot probability from monsters minus 20%. Okay. So she is good for fighting and she has a lot of health. She is a full-on tank and 32 DPS. Okay, she has the second highest. And she has the most hate health. Okay, so basically she is a sort of vampiric tank. Like basically, the more she kills, the more damage she will do. But right. uh, we get less, we get less resources because of that. Because she will ba basically eat it herself. Oh dear. Now is there? Yeah, there's a big note here. Let. No, oh, we don't have the industry. Okay. You go first in here, then. No battle cry. Okay, battle cry doesn't make doesn't. Uh, the lack of a battle cry doesn't always mean that there is nothing here. Hmm. Let's continue down this path for now. Okay, now we're getting some bigger things. Heck was that? <laughs> Good question. It was a bit too dark to see. It looked like some sort of. Oh, there's the exit already. <laughs> it looked like some sort of orc butcher. And I should have put down something last turn. But oh well. Uh, doing good on science, but that's because we've not really used it so far. Let's put down another one of these for more hero upgrades along the way. Okay. Oh, now, now things are okay. And they are heading straight for us. Except for the crystals, who are Ooh. who are heading for the crystal, I presume. Okay, Sarah, you go deal with that. Yeah, those things are beelining for the crystal. You two come help as well. And yeah, it's probably gonna be a good idea to start making some turrets down there. Yeah. Let's see, we are a bit low on industry, but we can put down two of these and then one tear gas. And we should probably just stick as many of these as we can along the way anyways. Because, like with the compies, every little bit helps to go kill something. Yeah! Good gods. 
And it looks and like again. this this place is looking like uh, some sort of hospital or medical laboratory. A good question. It does look like some sort of a lab. If it's medical or what is another question. All of you back there. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, okay. The, those crystals are weak and slow, so the, the frauds on their own will be able to handle that. And uh, yeah, well probably then, did you have enough uh, turrets? Uh, things are only going to get worse from there. Okay. We don't have enough to put down something else now. And this place is just going to keep webbing out. We're branching out. And Hello. Let's both get rich. You got a dog. I can't select him. Or her. Do I need to... I'm guessing I don't have... Wait. Oh, oh wait. A uh, merchant. All right, that makes sense. Iron shield, stolen from, stolen from the prison laundry. It is good for other uses besides ironing. The heck is that? Is I have no idea what that might be. <laughs> Tooth prick. You do not want to meet the beast whose <laughs> teeth this pricked. And prison soap, defense plus two, hates 80. With the look and texture of volcanic stone, this doubles for personal hygiene and self-defense. <laughs> okay. With two, max HP, 75. This bloody victory trophy was torn from a 300, barrel, <laughs> 300 kilo feral rabbit. Okay. I wonder if those giant rabbits weigh that much. Uh, wait, no, they probably don't wait that much. Uh, let's see. Can you equip this? Hmm. Okay, it seems that not everyone... Oh, it's a weapon type. This is a spear. And Sarah uses weapon uh, swords. Same for Nainor. But the, the lady does use spears. Plus 16 DPS. This would make her very powerful, both in defense and offense. She seems to be using spear and shield and... Okay, I don't know if her arm is supposed to be black and gold or if she's a scantily clad. Yeah, that looks to be... To, uh, the, the picture here suggests that is full armor that she is wearing. That or just her helmet that's uh, fully covered. It, it looks like the same color for the rest of it here. All right. Just awkwardly pixelated painted in a way, then. Okay, everyone selected. Next room on this branch. And the what now? Nothing here. But there are spawns, so let's head over. Okay, they're bringing, bringing in more big guys. Okay. Let's see. Three more doors over here. Hmm. Okay, that yeah, dead ends. <laughs> that only could have gone any further if it went down here. You break off to deal with the crystals. So that that single loner would probably have been killed by the turrets. Yeah. 
Okay, those drones... The, the walking drones seem to stop to fight heroes. The crystals ignore everything but the crystal. Hmm. Light that up. Not enough to build something else. Hmm. Yeah, with the increasing cost of building these generators, it's probably a good idea to have, well, most of these be industry generators. Nothing here, nothing here. What is this, a dust factory? Okay, we'll see what that is after we've dealt with uh, the beasties. What the heck is that? Some sort of snake. And it's also ignoring the generators. What do you do? Covered in dust, in, in dust, act <laughs> all of them are activating it on their own. Activating it may bring wealth or death. Let's ignore it for now then. And build another industry generator. So they, okay, I sort of missed it before, but there's a big note behind the merchant. And we have a lot of food now, so can we upgrade everyone again? Let's see, 35, 52. Okay. And that gives her an active skill. And also 52. Okay, I'm guessing... No, that doesn't make sense. It must be that each of them have their unique <coughs> uh, level up costs. But let's at least give the lady another level. War Rider, speed plus 10, defense plus, plus 50. Okay. And what is the cooldown on that? Two. Okay. What are you hinting at? You can get a her amount? Probably. Okay, nothing. So we pull back to the choke point. And that's that dealt with. Okay, then. Then the next room is over here. And item. Two, two. <laughs> okay. Um, what? Let's see. Ten defense, four speed. Nobody knows which crew member enjoyed dance and uh, dressing up like a ballerina, but given the amount of steel and wire involved, they must have been huge. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's just a flat bonus for everyone. Um, let's give that, that to the tank. Now, my thinking with this now a bit is that if we send Sarah in to a room and there are enemies... Uh, that she could be that she could just run back across and meet everyone else here at the choke yeah, points yeah. because is okay it, this is getting a bit much now <laughs> there's beer okay now it's about the same as last time it seems and we have just enough to light up this entire branch And was that the last door? Wait, there's... Oh, there's a door over there. <laughs> okay, so it isn't a dead end there. I just missed that door in the side. 
Uh, okay, yeah, that's the last door. So let's open that up. Actually, we should put everyone in here now. Because things that spawn over here... Okay, no spawns. Hmm. Alright, let's give this thing a shot. Whatever it may do. Activate. 23 dust. Okay. I'm guessing it is a chance between giving a bunch of dust and uh, spawning another wave. But that does mean that we have a big weakness over here. We're not... Not really anymore. We're going to be moving this thing anyways. So, let's see. Pull the power back from there. Put it in there. And... Okay. You two... Go there. Sarah should be quick enough to pick this up and GTFO. Because this entire region is lit up. Yeah, they will only be chasing after us. Yeah, we're safe. But I think you can see how this would get uh, tougher the further in it goes. Yeah. Especially when there are so many more levels to go. We even get the scoring on the side. Okay. That robot guy, what's his name? It looks like it gets around a lot. Like, maybe more than it wants to. Eh? What robot guy? No idea. But dust collector. I'm guessing there is... There's not really any specific interactions between any of these three. Which is good, because that also means they probably won't kill each other. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this is going to get trickier already. But we have a good choke point over here. And a decent one over here. Both of them have... Okay, this one has six points. So let's let's start over here. Because this will be easier to defend. And I say that after I build that one there. <laughs> no need for defenses just yet. And a self-powered room. Okay, oh. and an, an artifact, let's see, viral injector, these are the same ones as before, we haven't used any of these science things yet, but of course these are going to get, <coughs> these are going to get more costly the longer it goes, so let's, let's just upgrade the prisoner prod, does that actually make them, that, Oh, it still needs to be researched, of course. I do wonder if that's going to make them more expensive as well, though. And that's a big-ass crystal. Okay, three of these snakes, and... That thing. Okay, light these two up. I'm guessing you... If you were to play a bit, you could strategically leave rooms unpowered so that enemies would spawn and you get a chance to uh, well, get drop, get dust drops from them. Could work, provided you know how to, how to do it and not get too greedy. Yeah, uh, risk and reward, all that. So... Let's unpower that one. Send Sarah in because he is speedy as all hell. And nothing. Okay. 
dead end over there. And another dead end. Oh, hello. Elise. Hey, if the bad guys can break and enter, why can't the good guys? <laughs> okay. You over there, you over there. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Are we getting memes or tankier and tankier and tankier and then the last one? Let's see, 500 health at level 1. Let's see, Ooh. Elise Boom Boom Ness is a law person who walks the ragged edge between justice and vigilantism, reasoning that the crime of breaking and entering should be a two-way street. She earned her nickname due to her fondness for storming criminal hideouts with heavy-duty weaponry. Okay, <laughs> so a bit of a loose cannon and a bit of an insane one as well. Yeah, they have, I'm surprised it doesn't have more health. Let's see, three health gen in powered rooms, seven health... Seven defense in powered rooms. Health cost plus 15, heal cost plus 15 percent. Specialized batteries repair and recharge armor in the presence of active dust. In infirmary path, this health regen is replaced by a bigger defense bonus. Okay, so she is another tank. Oh, she is a tank then, all right. And again, this got your back 10 percent uh, when grouped with other states' thrust. Um, but how do we see if they trust each other? Hmm. Anyways, Good question. level her a bit. Engage turtle mode, 130 defense and minus 30 speed. Uh, that's a fair trade-off. Sounds That sounds like a massive defense boost. Yeah. She, she is supposed to be parked in a room and just sat, you know, sit there to let the enemies come to her. Okay. Let's split things a bit. Have these two go up here. Then start defending up this place. And okay, it's been upgraded, but it's still the same cost. So that Upgrading is worth it. Then we put that in there. And this should be more than enough to deal with whatever might spawn in those rooms. But for the... For... Just to be sure... Let's leave Elise in there. And if things get rough here, we can send Sarah to come help. Okay, another artifact. Here come the spawns. And yeah, they're getting torn up. Dear. Okay, we got lucky with this level. Shop. If a merchant is discovered, he will be teleported to the module. Operating gives... Uh, dust? Operating gives dust? When? Okay, ba so basically, if we find a merchant and we install this, then we will get dust from him per turn. I'm guessing. Okay. Let's see. Clay more <laughs> mine. Attack power 5, cooldown 2, zone damage 35. Okay. That sounds good. But my question is if that will damage in if that will damage heroes as well. For now though, let's go for that shop. Because these upgrades stay as we go. Uh Elise, let's move you up here. The ladies first. The heck? Some industry, okay. And let's take a look if they think... Okay, they're prioritizing the big things who are going after the modules. Because Chris has been attacked. That's a good time to panic. Handful. 
Okay, so these won't be able to deal with everything on their own. So, yeah, let's leave. Actually, can you go repair these things? Yes. Okay, so Sarah is just extremely useful as a scout and, well, for repairs. Makes her a... One of those you definitely want in every map. Hmm. Actually, no. Unpower all of those. There might be this might eventually be seen by more pro players or something, and who are shouting at me to not un unpower these rooms for dust collection. But uh, oh well, we're we're just doing this for a bit and. Okay, it seems we're at the two hour mark, but let's just uh, finish up this level and then we'll call it. Yeah, might as well finish it. Okay, Elise is also our first ranged attacker. We're good on most everything. Mm. Food. No, actually, we have one, two, three of those. Okay, let's do a bit of food then. At least you go back there. And then Sarah can be the door opener again. And the shop got researched. It would, oh, oh, those come, came from there. I overlooked this room here being not powered. So yeah, that was dumb of me. At least it looks like the drones in the crystal room, when they're in the crystal room, uh, prioritize us over the crystal itself. So that is useful. Okay, at least you just stay here. <laughs> if monsters spawn below us, then you can go help there. And here's the merchant. Okay. Um, let's see, if we remove any of these... It, it just destroys and doesn't refund. Oh, come on. Okay, but let we can see what that will do now. Let's see, what do you have? Anti-gravity. Okay, this one wants food instead. Okay. Already have that. And... Okay. It also differs with what type of equipment each character can drive. It's not always just uh, accessory, armor, weapon. At least here has two of these uh, uh, tools uh, that she can equip. Uh, let's see. That's kind of nice, actually. It's anti-gravity, defense, minus five, speed, five. Attack cooldown, minus zero, one. Okay, that is... Hmm. That's a bit questionable. That's probably going to be useful in some cases, but in well, with Sarah here, it would lower her DPS. But hmm? oh, be because she already has something equipped, because of that, it would lower there. A small upgrade there. Decent upgrade there. But a bigger upgrade there. It would lower her defense a bit. Hmm. But she would also be a slightly faster and hit harder. Yeah, but that is a big... That's a big price for it. A, a bit of a small uh, boost. So that'll be a no then. What's this third eye? 
Attack power 4 unlocks Pilfer. This odd headpiece discovered in the dungeon improves normal sight from 3D to 4D, giving brief glimpses into the near future. Uh, okay? Uh, I am curious about that pilfer, but again, that's pricey for the amount of food that we have. Basically, all of that we have. Let's see. Anyone who gets a buff from this? No, you can't use that. You would look absolutely ridiculous in that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, whoa. Well, she have, you have really low de defense, or the lowest. Okay, let's buy that for Sarah. And kitchen gloves, plus eight. For that price, yes. Okay, and uh, you, wait. Did I not buy it? Kitchen gloves, buy. Okay, a misclick on my end there. Okay. You get your gloves. You get your tutu. Make you even speedier. And you two go. No, oh, you're already there. Um, I think we're good on generators at the moment. Let's see how. Is he going to generate dust for us now? We are at 72. We didn't find any dust in the room and he didn't give any in the looks of it. Yeah, these little gains are just from what is dropping. Hmm. So I'm guessing I got that wrong then. Two more rooms there. Let's let's speed up a bit. If we find the exit, and which isn't here. If we find the exit, we're going to beeline for it. And I only now notice that there's a second door here. Alright then. Tear gas. Prisoner prods. Can we multi-build these? Yes, we by holding shift we can build multiple at once. Okay, you two over here. Oh, oh they, <laughs> there's the exit already. Okay, let's just Wait, take a look here. Know? You tell me you did not notice the exit. Nope. Found some science. <laughs> hey, yeah, this is going to be dealt with. Easily, even. All right. Mm. Sarah, same trick. Let's just finish. There can't be too many rooms in here left. And no spawn. What is that? Is that a toxic cloud? Okay, yeah, we do not want to stay in that. Oh dear. Uh-huh. Uh, light up that, light up that. Uh, actually, don't light up that. Pull the power from this room, and that one's powered by itself. You are the slowest, you get there first. You get over there, you get over there. Light up these two. And go grab it. Oh, we're already. Yeah, it would probably also be a good idea to have uh, to have built turrets around everything uh, in every room to the exit. Yeah. Let's see. 
wondering if there is some sort of huge hive mind behind it all. What? Me? Paranoid? <laughs> and still no interactions. It could be that some of the interactions only happen after a certain amount of levels have been done. And new picture in your album. You just unlocked Chef Nainor. Okay, so you have to survive a couple of floors with the character until they get unlocked for a selection in the beginning. But that'll be it for now. Um, I'm, yeah, DuckTales, I will be, I will, I'll probably do as a side stream like uh, on the Saturdays uh, once we're done with Bloodstained. Um, I'll throw I'll throw that into an alternate. Or should I do that into an alternating thing, or just every Saturday until it's done, then move on to the next game? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to get some variety. Yeah, just otherwise uh, <laughs> things would get too mixed up together. Yeah, it would get, yeah, it would get quite confusing fast. Otherwise. <clears throat> Okay, bit burpy this morning it seems, although it's now the afternoon. Uh, so yeah, that's been Something Sunday, the 12th one that I've been uploading so far, I think. That is going to be uploaded, uh, because I've decided to number those to keep track of how long I've been doing this. And yeah, that's been DuckTales, which will be getting a Let's Play Dungeon of the Endless, I th I think I might throw this into the uh, into the list of games to play f if there is uh, yeah some filler. Th if the uh, yeah I I'm going to add this game to the list of uh, fillers in case the other games that we play during a something Sunday end up to be all trash or unplayable. So, yeah. Uh, uh, with that list, we now have uh, a ground, this one, and one more, I think. Let's see, do I still have them installed? Uh, oh, yeah. Hades and Void Bastards. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe... Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do a side. Maybe I'll do Hades as a side stream some other times because it, it is a really good game. It takes a long time. Yeah. Uh, oh, how much hours do I have in that actually so far? Let's take a quick look. Library. Uh, Evil Genius wants an update. There, there you are. I have 44 hours on Hades and I still haven't reached the. The, the credits yet uh, but it, it is it's a good game it keeps feeding you little bits that keep you wanting more and the gameplay itself is smooth it it it'll get tough of course because it, it is a, it's a roguelike you're supposed to fail over and over again but I I'd say I've gotten good enough at it so far because I got three escapes in a row so, yeah, I, I'm getting. I've, I think I've gotten a good enough crafts to, may probably not as pull an escape on the first attempt or so, but still, make things a lot easier. So, anything from you, Dakar? Hmm. Uh, not much to comment there. Besides, I, I really like the Doc Tales game. Really must nostalgia there. And this game here is it's kinda of interesting, this uh, dungeon of the endless. Yeah, it's a uh, sort of roguelite tower defense combination. Yeah, I can I interesting Art. combo. Yeah. Uh, again I know that there are other of the endless games out there. I believe one of them is uh, one of those four X explore four X civilization like games. Um, actually, might as well take a look now anyways. Let's see. Do I have any of the others? Endless. Endless Sky. Is that part of it? Guessing not. So let's have a quick look over here. Of the Endless. 
Why the hell is that showing Grand Theft Auto Fifth as you know, five as the first option, as the what? first hit? But <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not showing anything. But yeah, maybe a series to look in a bit more eventually. Um, yeah, personally, I don't know a lot about it, but I, I do, I have heard that it is good enough to be highly praised. That's encouraging. Yeah. But uh, enough stalling, I'd say. Let's have a look if anyone has actually been watching all of this. Uh, da, 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 da. Two possible bots. And Smurch, again, thank you for watching. Uh, try not. <laughs> I won't try to be Smurch your name or anything by saying you may be a bot or not. Uh, if, but at least not yet. And of course, as always, special thanks to you, Dakir. Oh, you're most welcome. And yeah, I think I'll do this little this little troll <laughs> made my other hand now from now on, because otherwise I'm going to hit the mic here again and again when I try that. Uh, yeah, this has been Something Sunday with DuckTales Remastered and Dungeon of the Endless. And yeah, Tuesdays, more Bloodstained. Perhaps finally the end of Bloodstained, we'll have to see. But, as always, until then, until then, be safe, folks. And now let's see if this actually works.